Hello and welcome, welcome, and welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, I hope that wasn't echoing for you. Welcome and welcome to today's session. Uh, my name is Nellie Deutsch and I'm going to be presenting on scheduling a live online class and a bit about what it has been for me to teach online. So a little bit about background. Just let me know um, in the chat box if everything is uh, going well for you, where you're from, uh, if the sound is okay, or if you'd like uh, it to improve. Of course, uh, everything depends on your connection. But uh, WizIQ is now able to balance things so that uh, you should be able to hear quite well. People will be coming in as we go. So uh, those who come in are welcome uh, whenever you come. Okay, so I'm not getting any feedback. Just, just give me a thumbs up um, if you can hear me or a thumbs down. <laughs> well, you don't hear me. All right. Okay, one person is uh, good enough. I can see that my voice is going uh, up and down, which is uh, one of the ways that uh, as an online teacher, I can see exactly what's happening. I don't really need to ask you. Uh, if you can hear me, I can see that the bar is going up and down just above my head. So I know that uh, the audio is coming through. I can also see the webcam. So I know that um, I'm viewed. All right, but it's just a polite way of, uh, can you hear me? All right, so I see that we've got magic spoken English. And I think that's the key word, magic. Okay, teaching online is magical. And when I say teaching online, I mean in a live virtual class such as this one. The energy, the uh, excitement, I don't know how else to describe it except to say that it's really, truly magical. I've spoken to teachers, presenters at online conferences and sessions that I give like the uh, Connecting Online, CO12, 1.3, and so on, and uh, the Moodle Moot. And everyone is really, really thrilled about presenting online. Once they do it, they are very, very happy. And uh, this, is, this is something that, uh, you know, is not something that I take for granted. Um, how many of you are teachers? If you can just give me a T, if you're a teacher. Okay, so a, a T is enough. So I get an idea. All right, so we've got lots of teachers. Okay, great. So think about when you come out of a face-to-face -face class, how do you feel? Do you come out excited? And then think about how often you come out excited. And uh, it may not be every time. Okay, I had a class today that was horrible, horrible. And that doesn't happen online. In a face-to-face -face class, you may have a lot of challenges. Part-time teacher, okay, magic spoken English. But the um, the gratification, the immediate gratification is not always there. You know, you know, it might be a few classes are great, a few classes are not, but it's not as good as online. Okay, and this is something that uh, I have kept in mind. Okay, uh, facing high school kids or facing adults uh, in a face-to-face -face class is certainly not the same as online. And that's why I would like you to try it out. Try teaching online in a virtual classroom such as this and see how you feel. Now, a little bit about uh, teaching online on WizIQ. 
before um, I go on, if you could just give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Have you uh, given a live class on WizIQ or elsewhere? A live online class. Okay. All right. So I see Magic Spoken English has. Mercy, Philip. Uh, Petya has not. So Petya, I hope that after this session, you will create a class and invite some of your friends, colleagues, students, and so on. Fabiana has. Okay, great. All right, this is uh, how you join a class such as this one. And notice that you have a title. Every live online class has the following. Skype lessons. Well, you should try this. I have <laughs> I've been on Skype for years and um, it's not the same. Unless you're teaching one on one, but even one on one, David, I prefer WizIQ because of the um, settings. And what you're looking at is the whiteboard, or it's actually a smart board. All right, so what you have here first of all, the title, you have the day, the date, the hour, and EST, which is my time zone. So you have your time zone. You have the hour when it's going to take place. Okay, in this case, I uh, took the screenshot seven hours and 24 minutes before the class started. You get the duration, and a class can be up to three hours. The presented, presenter, sorry, and you can share the link with your friends on Twitter and so on. You click on join the class. But before you do that, you have an opportunity as a student or the teacher to check out the system. Just uh, out of curiosity, how many of you checked your system before joining this class? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you checked the system, thumbs down if you didn't check the system. Oh, good for you, Petya. Fabiana, too? Wow, you have just surprised me. I expected thumbs down. All right, so you checked your system. Excellent. Wonderful. All right, this is really important, and you should encourage your students to do the same. All right, and then you have about the class. This is this class today. And then you can have keywords, keywords so that uh, people can find it in the Android. Very good, Fabiana. The Android is going to improve. Okay, it's going to get better and better. And then you get the number of t attendees. Notice that there are 663 attendees who join the class, which means that they will have a chance to watch the recordings and also download the recordings. A lot of people prefer to uh, watch the recordings. It doesn't always work out with their time in these live online sessions. But the energy in the live sessions is amazing. And I prefer to be there rather than watch the recordings, unless I have no choice, of course. Please feel free to uh, use your uh, chat okay and ask questions all right so these were the attendees some of them have um, images and some do not I don't know how you feel about it but I like to uh, encourage my students to add their profile images doesn't matter if it's you know their real faces but just an image it looks a lot better than to have these <laughs> uh, shadowed gray uh, images okay so if, even if it's uh, a plant or flower or you know an eye or anything as long as there's something there all right so let's take a look at how you create a live online class first of all 
you have to have a teacher account. How many of you have a teacher account? Give me a thumbs up if you've got a teacher account, and I'll explain how you can get a free premium teacher account um, after this session if you don't already have one. Okay, so you've got free. How many of you have the premium accounts? You can now get free premium accounts on WizIQ. So I hope um, you have it. Oh, you don't, Fabiana. So you need to get one. All right. How many of you have paid? Okay, let me know if you've paid for a premium account. Petya, you've paid. All right. Uh, how long ago, Petya? Hello, Chief Jonathan. Chief Jonathan. I like that. And uh, magic spoken English. All right. So uh, six months ago. All right. So uh, next year you're gonna have it for free. Okay. Just um, I'll let you know. Okay. So here's a little bit about the free accounts. Uh, if you're a teacher and you use WizIQ and you can show me or WizIQ support that you're using the platform and you're teaching with it, you can get a free premium account. Otherwise, if you have a school behind you, if you're affiliated with a school and the school is AC at the end, AC UK or whatever, or EDU, okay, if you have a school email, you can also get a free membership, a premium account, and this is worth $690. I don't know how long this is going to uh, be available, so uh, contact me, okay? And um, this is what you get with your membership. You can create and teach unlimited online courses, but you have to use it. If you don't use it, you're going to lose it, all right? So the idea is WizIQ wants teachers to teach online and use the platform. If you're not using it, you know, what's the point? Allow unlimited attendees to enroll so you can have as many students as you want. Unlimited. That's 5,000 if you wish. Okay. You can manage or more. You can manage easily with course management systems. So WizIQ is improving. In October, they're going to be, notice I'm saying October. The, the platform uh, improves every couple of months. In October, there'll be new features on WizIQ. Um, store, you can store. Now you can even store more than 40 gig, uh, gigabytes. Online content library. Now this is really good because you don't want to store things on your computer, at least I don't. And you can record and archive approximately 300 online classes. You can get help 24-7 with a human being. In other words, someone can contact you. Now this is really important. If you've got problems with your mic, WizIQ will be able to help. They'll be able to go into your system through what's called a team um, feature and fix, help you uh, fix your mic. So feel free to contact WizIQ at all times. I'll be showing you this later on. Support at WizIQ. Dot com if you have any problems with audio or video or anything. Now, people don't take advantage of this. You know, people contact me and say, Nell, you had problems with this and I had problems. Why don't you contact support? They are eager to help. They get paid to help you. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, you can move your courses online. And WizIQ will help you move from one platform to WizIQ. You can have virtual office hours. If you're teaching at a university, instead of having a telephone conversation, you can have, or if you want to have, if you have a business and you're a teaching business and you want to have uh, virtual office hours, you can have that. You can help your students with their homework. You can set up classes without any kind of problems. Okay. Um, and these are some more features and ways of using 
with IQ. I've conducted two MOOCs, well, actually three so far with uh, over 2,000 participants. It's very easy. And uh, soon they're going, you're going to be able to view the recordings through HTML on the cloud and you'll be able to uh, add them to YouTube automatically. This is all going to be possible. You can also get your parents if you teach in a K-12 on board. And all this, let me give you the link so you can um, www.wizIQ. Now people ask me, well, how is it possible? WizIQ.com academic. How is it possible? Why is WizIQ doing this? WizIQ is doing this because they care about teachers. A little bit about my um, past with WizIQ. I started using WizIQ in 2007. I was doing my doctorate. And the reason I chose WizIQ is because I was using another system. WizIQ has always been free um, for educators. Just educators didn't know about it. And the reason I was using it is because I was using something called Hot Conference. It was an MLM. I don't know if you're familiar with MLM, but it looked bad. Okay, it looked bad when, um, you know, I went to school and I would, oh, not horse, sorry, Hot Conference. It's just a bad word. I think they still exist. Um, so I was looking for something that was more academic and WizIQ has changed. WizIQ will do whatever you want. All you have to do is uh, send them comments and feedback and they will cater to your needs. Trust me, that's why I have stayed, because they cater to my needs. Notice here that you can have a six-way video uh, screen sharing, which is going to improve. There's going to be a new version in October. Multilingual blackboard, whiteboard. Now, what does it mean? It means that you can have it in Spanish. You can have it in Arabic, which is from right to left. You can have it in uh, Chinese, Japanese. I don't know how many languages, quite a few languages, Hebrew, um, Russian interface. Okay, which is really great for students because even if they're learning English, sometimes they get intimidated by having a foreign language. Notice here uh, there are breakout rooms, okay, and this is what they look like. I presented in Paraguay. Uh, I met someone on the plane. I, w I went there for a workshop. There's also polls and online tests. And um, they found out that I teach online, and they grabbed me. They said, we want to know how you do it. So I presented on WizIQ. Um, at Uninorte, which is a university in uh, Asacion, Paraguay, and they were so excited. They don't know about WizIQ. They don't know that WizIQ provides free uh, classes you can create for free. All right, so uh, this is a little bit about um, some of the features. Okay, so there's a media player where you can uh, add audio, video, images. There's screen sharing, breakout rooms, where you can divide the class into uh, groups. Polling, where you can ask questions. Um, chat box, which is awesome. You can also copy the chat at the end and take with you whatever has been added. You can invite participants uh, right now. You can invite people straight from the class. Uh, you can upload content, you have a microphone and a webcam. All right, so uh, you can create courses. Notice you can create courses. Um, you can schedule live classes and then you have a list of your classes. You can upload content and then you have a list of your contents. If you need help and use it at the bottom of every WizIQ page, there's help. You can contact support. You can get live chat. They will call you on the phone. <laughs> Imagine, they're willing to call you on the phone and give you the help that you need. Um, you can also use uh, tablets, okay, devices, iPads, and so on. They're improving that. 
because right now it's only for students, not for teachers. And frequently at, ask questions. Use it. There are lots of questions and answers there. And encourage your students to do the same. All right. So this session is about scheduling a live online class. How do you schedule a class? Number one, you click on, and here it is again, you go to the left, if you're a teacher, of course, you go to the left of your uh, landing page, your account, and you'll see courses, live classes, content. You go to schedule live class, you give it a title. You can set the current time if you want to test the system. This is a good idea. Um, okay, so you decide on your time and date. Notice here when it's going to start. Your time zone. Now, if you're in another country, okay, let's say I'm in Paraguay, is the same as Toronto, but let's say I'm in California, which is not EST, I can change that so that I don't get confused. And I suggest you do the same in your account. Make sure that the time zone is your time zone. And then you add keywords, which is very important because it helps people find you, find your class. And then you write about the class. Are there any questions so far? Let me know in the chat if there are any questions. Hello, Peter. I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you. And Jane, it's exciting to see people, new people, and of course, uh, people that I have communicated with in the past. Great to see you. All right. And uh, I don't forget a name. <laughs> so I know it's crazy, but I never forget someone who's been in class. Um, who can attend? You can make the class public. Now, if you are finding this difficult, contact support. If you cannot do this, if you can only make a private class because 24 hours or something like that, make sure that you contact support. They will fix everything. People don't realize it, you know, how efficient they are. So, um, you can make it private and you can make it public. Um, if your course is private and you're charging money, you will make the live classes private and not public. And then record the class. Notice, do you want to record the class? Of course, but you might not. I don't know. Um, allow attendees to enter class without sign up. It's up to you. And then you can add more information about yourself. You can also brand your company and then you continue and schedule. Magic has a question. All these features you are talking about are available in free classes or paid. Oh, it's, uh, it's up to you. Exactly, Magic. If you want to make your course, okay, the course, it's not the class that's free. You don't charge for a class anymore. This used to be on WizIQ. They stopped it. It's all based on courses. You can have free courses or you can have paid courses. If you have paid courses, then your live classes will be private. But if your courses are free, you have a choice whether you want to do it that way or not. I hope that answered your question. All right, a little bit of information. I wanted to tell you that at the bottom of every WizIQ page, there's all this information. Use it. Help. You can also get help with training, e-learning. You can join an e-learning community, contact support, support form. Look at all these different ways to get information about how to teach and use WizIQ. Also white papers and ebooks and about WizIQ. Notice product. Uh, you have the features, virtual classroom. Go through it. It's right there at the bottom of each page. In addition, you've got uh, widgets. You can advertise your paid courses through a widget and add it to your website. You can connect your website 
with uh, with IQ and the courses that you offer for money or free how many of you have websites of your own okay give me a thumbs up if you've got a website you have great so magic you can add your paid courses or your courses in general okay and I see that Mercy also has Mercy Philip you can add uh, there's a widget okay it has uh, a code CSS and you simply copy and paste it on your website and if you have a blog you can do the same thing how many of you have blogs blogs and website are exactly the same how many of you have blogs give me a thumbs up if you've got a blog great so Fibiana you don't need a website you can add this widget to your blog I think I added it to one of my blogs um, called um, what's it called it's called turn uh, turning I just created it because I'm teaching a course so I usually uh, turning um, or leadership inside out leadership uh, inside out has anyone seen this okay let me see if I can get the link for you here it is uh, here's the link okay I want to show you I've got my the widget on this particular one I'd like to share it with you because I think that you, whoops did I uh, here we go I thought I lost the class so here's the um, there it is okay if you go into that you'll have a chance to um, see oops to see the widget just go into it now and let me know if you see it if not I can screen share and take you there so oh very good mercy do you also have it personalonline.com is that why you shared that all right I'm going to screen share and as I screen share um, I'm going to um, you probably see a black I presume that you see a uh, black whoops I think I just lost the class yep uh -huh. I think I just lost you all right so <laughs> here I am back again all right so here I am back again I just uh, had a little tour um, all right so let me go back to screen sharing I hope it works this time I want to show you I'm using a Mac anyone else using a Mac oh you saw the page you can understand the widget okay so let me uh, let me show you that because I think it's really really important uh, let's see if I can uh, find it um, okay so uh, here it is just trying to I'm recording this on YouTube so I just want to make sure that uh, okay there it is uh, there's the widget okay that's the widget okay and let me um, go to my uh, whiz IQ account I'm gonna go into my account so you can see what's going on okay so um, which one should I go into all right let's go into this one I've got two accounts on with like you one is an organization and one is a teacher account so I'm gonna go into the um, organization and show you where it is okay this is a live class you can see it's happening I'm gonna go to my courses okay um, I think it's actually here integration okay my courses okay these are my courses and what I want to do is I want to um, add the widget okay so these are the courses okay and what I want is the widget 
so I'm going to go into there you see it I hope you can see it it's right here I go into my courses and then it has create courses and then course widget I'm going to click on course widget okay there it is and then I can decide what courses I want to add okay so um, it's up to you okay what you decide to add okay so I've got all these courses I'm gonna add this one which is free and then I'm gonna add uh, this one which is free and then I'll add this one which is really expensive the reason okay and then you see these are the courses so what I do is I'm gonna copy this okay copy it or copy code and then I'm going to go to my website and add it in the HTML which is exactly what I did in um, on my blog okay and I use blogger for those that um, are interested okay so let me go back to class okay stop sharing and I hope you were able to see that okay so again you find the widget when you go into your courses okay so to find the widget you need to create courses first okay next session today in about two hours I'm going to be giving a session on how to create courses so courses and then you will find the widget under courses okay widget and this is a, widget, a great way to connect with IQ with your website or blog Oh, Mohammed, were you able to get it now? Mohammed, do you have courses um, on WizIQ? If not, create courses. Go to your courses. On the left, you will see the widget. Okay, so again, courses, and then the widget will be on the left. So if I go back, okay, if I go back, let me show you... Um, over here okay if I go back if I click on courses okay a list of my courses if I go into courses okay if I click on the courses I'll be able to see the widget the courses will appear in the middle and the widget will appear on the left now how this class is about scheduling classes on WizIQ but in order to schedule a class on WizIQ you need to um, have a course. You first uh, create a course and then you can create or schedule a live class. This is for teachers, but you don't have to be a teacher. Now, you can be anyone that wants to share information either for free or for a price. Okay, information is not always free. Okay, I hope that helped. All right, teaching online, as I said at the beginning, is very, very gratifying. In fact, so much so that I uh, wrote a book about it. I wrote a book about instructor experiences with implementing technology because apparently teaching face-to-face -face is not as satisfying all the time as teaching online. At least that's what my research uh, findings showed um, I also edited the book that other teachers wrote about their experiences with connecting online and uh, teaching online so if you have never taught online uh, you might want to try it because um, as a teacher I would not uh, be able to teach all these years if I only taught face-to-face -face. so I teach mostly blended does everybody know what blended learning is if you don't uh, it's combining face-to-face -face with online in other words I teach a real face-to-face -face class in a building but I um, bring my students online too so that they come to WizIQ um, I teach them through WizIQ and through courses 
on WizIQ and Moodle. I also use uh, Moodle. All right, so a virtual classroom or an online class means action. Now, what does that mean? Why do I say action? Because, any, any suggestions? Why do I say action? There's a lot of action. Because students are engaged. They're engaged in doing. Because the whiteboard is a way for them to engage. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to give um, Uncle Sam. All right. Uncle Sam, I just gave you um, writing tools. If you could come up into the whiteboard and um, write, okay, write, use the text box and write how many years you've been teaching. How many years have you been teaching? So the whiteboard can become interactive. No matter what you put on the whiteboard, no matter what, uh, students can write next to, or they can put boxes, they can put circles around different things, they can have uh, different colors and different sizes. Okay, so notice what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put a circle. Okay, so you can... They can highlight, you can highlight. These are things that you can't do in a face-to-face -face class. You cannot engage students in real time in the classroom. I mean, I tried today. I was so frustrated. You know, I had to go from student to student to point out where I was. That's ridiculous. You know, it's so much easier to teach online because it's more effective. I get frustrated in the face-to-face -face class. And my students do too, because there's, there's not enough. You know, you can use a book, but you can't mark a book. Um, okay, so I'm, Uncle Sam, are you, what are you doing? Okay, so I think Uncle Sam is trying to write something. So you can have, you can be teaching mathematics and you can have um, equations, and you can work with your students in uh, going through the formulas, whether it's math, chemistry. If it's English, you can go through grammar. You can have your students come to the board and do different things. So there's so much you can do. Oh, yes. Oh, Peter, there are a lot of new things, and in October, they're going to be even more. So, Peter, let me give you the whiteboard so you can get a, a glimpse of what's going on here. Okay, so um, I don't know what happened to... But everybody can do this. You don't have to have... Hello, style. You don't have to have a fast connection to be able to write on the whiteboard. So the whiteboard is actually a smart board. It's really, really smart. Well, at least makes the students smart. Okay, so Uncle Sam, I don't know what happened. I see that you're playing around with my um, screen. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not Sam. All right, so this is if you bring one student at a time to the whiteboard, um, they can do different things. And I suggest you create, schedule a live online class and try to uh, see what features are available and the different things that you can do. All right, so Peter, uh, you're invited to do that. As I said, in October, there'll be new features. Okay, so putting circles around things, or if you're teaching English, you might ask your student, oh, you teach online. Okay, thank you, I just saw that. I didn't see it before. All right, thank you so much, um, Uncle Sam. I think, um, see, it's very hard to see, but um, let's put, a circle around it there it is okay so uh, this is what Sam wrote okay it's in orange I teach online okay so this isn't exactly correct grammar um, so if you had to so I can ask uh, who would like to correct that who would like to come up to the whiteboard 
and correct the sentence I teach online for two and a half years. And I'm not talking about punctuation because there's no who would like to and you can edit it. Okay, so raise your hand if uh, you'd like to come up to the board and uh, correct the sentence. Thank you for making the mistake, Uncle Sam. I know you didn't do it um, by mistake. Oh, actually, Peter, you wrote it. All right. So um, can someone come up and correct that? Thank you, Peter, for correcting me. I didn't notice. I should have noticed because you can tell who's writing what. Okay, a teacher can tell because at the bottom it says who is writing. So um, raise your hand. I don't see any hands up. Do you see where the hand is? There's a hand. You can raise your hand and come up. Any volunteers? Since. All right. So I teach online since. Since what? Uh, Stella, I've been teaching. Okay, Stella, let me give you, uh, instead of writing in the chat, okay, I'm going to give you, very good, Stella has raised her hand. Thank you. So, Stella, I'm going to, you've got the writing tools. If you can come up, click on it, and edit. I might want to take away the, uh, okay, I took away the circle. So, if style clicks on it, she'll be able to um, make the changes. Where? On the word, on the board, I give you tools. Okay, so we're going to wait for that to happen. Okay, and the answer is I've been teaching online for two and a half years. That's the correct. Doctor, we cannot see the tools. No, you can't. That's right. You can't see the tools because I haven't given you rights. And that's the point, Muhammad. The point is not to give everybody because then you're not going to know who's doing what. You want to do it one at a time so you know exactly who's, um, who's there. But if I give tools to everybody, we'll have troublemakers. Uh, just like in class, if you give everybody a chance to speak, they're going to speak all together. And you don't want to do that. Okay, you want things to happen one at a time. All right, so I'm going to screen share and show you how it's done. Okay, so um, are you ready? I'm going to screen share in the class. Okay, so I hope you can see that. Let me know in the chat if you can see it. I'm going to click on this okay there it is now notice what happens when i click on it okay i'm going to move it because it's um, here first of all i'm going to make it larger okay it's 18 let me make it larger and then um, the color is okay but let me make it larger so you can see. Look how large I'm making it. All right, so I clicked on it. There it is. I hope you can see that. All right, everybody should be able to see it. Now, I'm going to make the changes. I have been, and then I'm going to make ING online for two and a half years. Okay, and there I finished. Now I'm going to move it. Okay, so let me move it. Okay, so you can see it. Can you see it? There it is. I moved it up so you can see it. Can everybody see it? Let me put a circle around it in case you can't see it or a rectangle. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Um, let me make that a bit bigger. All right. Now you should be able to see it. Okay, so I made, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, I'm going to stop screen sharing. I made the change. So how do you make the change? You click on whatever you write. Okay, so you need to practice this. So I invite you to practice. Create, schedule a live class. Okay, that's what you're going to do this week. You're going to schedule a live class. Okay, I want you to look at the white 
board. Okay, this is the whiteboard. This is where everything happens. And here are the tools. Do you see them on the left? Notice the A here. I don't know if you can see it. That's the editing tool. That's where you write. Okay, and I'm going to show you this a bit better uh, over here. All right, here you can see the tools. Do you see them? So A, number four, is the writing tool, and you can edit. You can decide on a color. It's like a regular editor. It's amazing. The whole whiteboard is something we don't have in the classroom. We can't engage our students in the classroom, but we can online, which is why it's amazing. Okay, so here you've got the tools on the left, the writing tools. On top, you've got number one is file, where you can bring files from your computer. Number two, you can edit. Number three is going back and forth. Number four is your library. This is your personal library on WizIQ. Number five is like number one. Number eight is your media player. Number nine is a screen sharing poll. And 11 is breakout rooms. Now, this is the library. You can store PowerPoint presentations, PDF files, video clips, audio clips in your library. And then when you have a live session, you just pull it up. Very, very simple. And you just click on Add to Class. You see this is a PowerPoint. You can tell that it's PowerPoint. This is a PDF. Once you bring it up, you can either refresh or exit. X means exit. Okay, any questions so far? It's amazing, Mohammed. It's amazing, but you know what? You have to give it a try. You have to try out the whiteboard and the tools available in a live class. You know, as I said, schedule a class, teach yourself, play around with it. And then create a lesson for your face-to-face -face students or your online students. So the whiteboard. Um, the whiteboard has drawing tools, math. Any, any math teachers today? Multiple. You can have more than one whiteboard. You can have as many whiteboards as you want. Okay, there's no limit. You can record everything, but you can also pause and then resume the recording. And if you've got a company, you can write your company name. Now, what's nice about all this is that there are no downloads. No downloads. Okay, and these are some of the tools that you can give. You can give each of the teachers or the students everyone the mics at the same time or one at a time so notice here you see this check if you check all of them everybody will get either tools microphones or the webcams so you don't have to go through one at a time you can give it to everyone and you can take it away in bulk okay so the fact that you can do things in bulk peter is completely new Okay, they didn't have this on WizIQ before. Yeah, Peter, you can move things around. It's just amazing. It really is. And if you love teaching the way I do, you will see the value in having a whiteboard. And the chat, because the chat, everybody can talk. In my class, they can't talk. You know, it's only I talk or one of them talks. We can't talk at the same time. But with a chat box, everybody can be talking at the same time. And it's important to talk when you're learning. Otherwise, you get bored. And then, of course, this is why. 
Okay, you have a live online class. You have a smart board, which is the whiteboard. You have a chat box, and you can engage your students in the content and through the microphone. And the benefits and the outcomes of teaching online are the following. You become empowered. You transform as a teacher. You transform as a person. And it's empowering. Teachers have more power in a live online class than they do in a face-to-face -face class. If I could bring all my students online, I would. And it's engaging. You can engage your students in learning. They can practice it on the whiteboard with you together. It's meaningful, it's transformational, and it's entertaining. You could put music on, background music. You can do so much that you can't in a face-to-face -face class. So I'd like to thank you and ask you if you have any questions. So are there any questions? And you can use your mic to ask. Okay, so um, Stylus, so you have your hand raised. Would you like to um, ask a question or is that from before? Okay, so are there any questions or comments? Yes, Uncle Sam, you should use uh, WizIQ and it's completely free. Why not? Okay, so this week you're go oh you have to go to sleep uh, this uh, this week um, you're all going to create a course and a class so in two hours I think it's in about two hours we're gonna have a live class on how to create courses because the first thing you have to do before you create a live class is create a course and we're gonna be doing this together all right in uh, in two hours so uh, Take a break, and I'll see you uh, in two hours. Uh, Guizon, Guizona, are you asking me if I ever sleep? I sure do. <laughs> I get a lot of sleep. Thank you. Quilnoza. Oh, it's an L. Sorry, Quilnoza. Yeah, watch the recording. This is also going to be on YouTube. And I'll be adding this to the course. The co course is called uh, WizIQ. That's where uh, most of you came from. But every live class has a course attached to it. Oh, hello, Reiko. Good to see you. Uh, I haven't seen you in a long time. Great to see you. Okay, bye-bye for now. Thank you, everyone.